Hello guys and welcome to another one of my little videos. Uh, as you may know, uh, tomorrow is the 45th anniversary of the premiere of the original Star Wars. And I'm going to a rather special event right now. And that is a secret 35mm screening of the original 1977 Star Wars. I'm super excited. Uh, this has been my dream uh, for a long time. So... Uh, I'm going to I'm going to make a little video out of this event. The screening took place in a small theater in the center of Prague. They regularly hold these blind screenings where you come in and you have no idea what you're about to see. Luckily, a friend of mine is friendly with the owner and so I got the insider info that what was going to be shown this time on the eve of its 45th anniversary was Star Wars on 35mm film. First, we got a little talk by the owner, telling us that we're about to see a 35mm print with all the advantages but also problems that that carries with it. And he warned us not to expect a pristine experience like we got used to from digital and that the colors were faded and all over the place. But as a lover of film, I of course knew it would be glorious. I was hoping a little bit that it might be a print of the original version, which was shown in Czech theaters in the early 90s. But realistically, I thought it would probably be the 1997 version, since uh, there were more prints which may still be in a good condition. And when the owner mentioned that it was a subtitled copy, uh, my suspicions were all but confirmed, as I was pretty sure that only dubbed copies were shown here in the early 90s. As soon as the curtain opened and the movie started with the 90s Fox logo, I knew I was right. But as you can hear, the people in the audience who had no idea what movie they were about to see were very excited when they found out. I was happy to see that the owner was wrong about the colors, as they were exactly as I would expect from a non-fade late 90s print of the 1997 special edition. The print was pretty dirty and scratched, but it was far from the worst I've seen in that regard, and I really enjoyed seeing the movie in 35mm, regardless of what version it was. I was curious to see if on a 35mm print with uh, grain and dirt the CGI additions uh, would stand out a little less, but no, they were still really out of place in a 70s movie and I couldn't help but boo some of the more egregious changes. Still, I can imagine few better ways to celebrate the anniversary of one of my favorite films than seeing it in glorious 35mm. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and may the Schwartz be with you.